Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I wanted to share all of the palettes that I haven't used so far this year. We're almost into June. As I'm filming this, uh, you might see this a little bit later. I'm trying to pre-film a lot. I've seen videos of people ranking the palettes that they've used in the last month or two or three or the quarters or whatnot. Um, I decided to do the opposite and I decided to share with you the palettes that I haven't touched so far this year. And maybe we can figure out why. And maybe we cannot. I don't know. Um, maybe we can relight the fire and that makes me want to use these palettes. Uh, who knows? Let's see what palettes that I haven't touched so far in this year. Now I'm going to start with the newest palettes and work my way up to the oldest palette. So the newest palette in this um, category is one that I got this year and it is the Scooby-Doo um, Glam Light palette. This is the Creeps and Crawls version. I did, let's not blind you, I did a first impression with the um, Rohro Raggy palette which is the green and blue and this is the blue teal purple version. I honestly plan to use this in the first impressions video but I kind of got scared by all the um, purples and blues that are in here because those are not shades that I use on a regular basis. I still have to um, use this. I loved the green and blue one though so you know, it's not a, a formula thing, it's it's solely the color story that's kind of scaring me. Then the next few palettes I all bought last year, starting with the Shrek X Revolution um, Puss in Boots. <laughs> that's who it is. I have all four of the mini versions of the um, palettes of the collection. This is the Puss in Boots one. That's what that looks like. I don't know why I haven't touched this yet because this honestly out of the four was the color story that inspired me the most, that I like the most because I do love my warm oranges and whatnot. Maybe it's because it's quite similar to my Panda palette of this year. Um, I don't know. Honestly, the other ones were fine not the best. I had the donkey one in hashtag beauty chest, I believe. I had the Farquad one in... No, I believe I worked just on a um, cream matte in that palette. And that's all I used out of that. And then the fairy godmother one was in my project level up. So I've used all of the others. This one, not yet. Then I have here... Four of the Beauty Bay Disney Color palettes. I have all five of them. Um, the only one that I have used is the Jungle Book one because one was in my one eyeshadow was in my Panda palette. Wait, I'm lying. Actually, this one was also this was in a project. I don't remember what project, so I'm gonna put this away. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. I have here three of the Beauty Bay Disney uh, palettes. I have here the Cheshire Cat. And all of these um, palettes only have mattes in them. This is a uh, Dumbo. Very cute. And then there's Bambi. That's what that one looks like. So these all have matte eyeshadows in them. I think that's part of the reason why I haven't used them because I don't often do all matte eyeshadow looks. Um, so I would have to pull other palettes in order to create a look out of these. Am I also intimidated by the color stories? Yes, definitely. I just am. And did I buy them just to have the complete collection? Of course, I did. Um, so yeah, we still have to use three of them. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but... I hope this year will be the year 
that I use them. Then this is the last palette that I also bought in 2020. And this is the Jeffree Star Mini Controversy palette. And this is what mine looks like. This shade has been in a Panda palette or some project, uh, but not this year. I haven't touched it since actually. Yeah, I don't know. When I look at, at this color story, it's, it's difficult. It doesn't really make sense. And it doesn't inspire me to um, create a look, so. That's, I think, why I haven't used that yet. Maybe that should be on the chopping block, but that's a whole different video that I could do. Moving on, these are palettes that I all bought in 2021. I do believe I have used them all last year at least, so it's not that bad, but not yet this year. We have here, this is my Depotted um, Glam Shop Remix palette with the exception of this shade, because this is now in a project. They're supposed to be a hot pink. Um, and also missing is a dark shimmery brown with a blue undertone and a matte beige, because that broke while I tried to depot this. I haven't, I haven't touched these shadows. Honestly, if I have, I don't even remember. So we're just gonna put it in here. I haven't used this yet. I don't know why I should because it's there's nice shimmers in here definitely that I just I should just use them so then we have another bundle this is the Zueva chocolate chocolate collection chocolate bar collection I don't I don't really know I bought them in a set we have blank fusion a uh, blank fusion so white chocolate, we have caramel melange, melange, that's how you say it, which is this one, the caramel one. And then we have cocoa blend, which is like the dark chocolate one. There we go. Now, as you can see, I have used all of them before. They were all, I want to say all, no, not all of them. These two were in my Beauty H Z, which I did with all eyeshadows. So most eyeshadows that I have pan in were in that project. Some were in pan those eyeshadows. Some eyeshadows from here were in pan those eyeshadows. I think both of these may have been in there. And then the like white, more transitioning shades or lid setting shades i just worked on on my own like that one um so yeah they did get used last year but not this year um again i think it's because i'm working on my pama palette which has enough neutrals in for you know for me um and i'm really focused on trying to use that up so i think that's why these like more neutral palettes are kind of getting pushed to the back for now. I was gonna say when that's over then I can start using them but I honestly don't know if I can even finish that palette and when it's gonna be finished so we're just gonna leave that in the middle. I might crack them out once again sometime in the future. Then I have three Colourpop palettes. They came into my collection in 2021. I don't, I don't remember what I said about these ones. They also came into my collection in 2021. Anyway, the Colourpop palettes. I have here the Star Wars The Child palette. Which looks like this. All green with a gold and some neutrals. Honestly, I really do love this color story. I don't know why I never use this. I, I don't. I should. Or if I don't use it, I should have a good explanation for it, but I just don't. So I definitely should crack that out. Then I have the Aura and Out palette, which looks like that, which also has a lot of greens, but this is very, very bright. So that's why I don't really use it. Uh, yeah, maybe the glitter is gonna be used again 
now that I'm gonna go to some festivals and whatnot. But it's it's also not my favorite glitter. So I don't know. And then I have the Inner Trans palette. And this is what that looks like. So that is the pink and purple and blue. Again, I, I know why I don't use this. Because pinks and purples and blues are not colors that I really gravitate towards. I love looking at them. It looks cute, but putting it on my eyes, it always kind of feels like something is off. Um, I did use the glitter a whole lot. As you can see, I have a pan in that. This is one of my favorite glitters to use for festivals and parties. I just got mesmerized looking at it. <laughs> um, but yeah, the rest of the palette is kind of getting neglected. And then lastly, one that has been in my collection since who knows how long is a palette with my Nabla singles and there's also an, uh, a little Essence single. I believe this one is Essence. Uh, the rest of them are all Nabla. You can see I have hit quite a few pans. Again, these were in uh, Beauty 8C, as was this one. This was in Pan... Pan of the Shadows? I don't know, but I used that last year. Or I hit pan in that last year. And then I just I just didn't use it anymore. I, I honestly I don't think I ever touched this one. Um this orange one has quite a dip, so I want to hit pan on that whenever. I don't know, I don't really have an explanation for this one as well. Maybe it's just because they're in a a closed off palette. I never really see them. I don't get reminded by them, so I don't get reminded to use them. I don't know. I don't know. I should I should use uh this purple is very very underwhelming. It had a lot of hard pan. So honestly I'm still thinking about decluttering this one. It has been hit or miss. I also had a dark blue single from Nabla and I decluttered that because it did the same, which was nothing. Um, the other ones, honestly, this um, orange one, this is a peach velvet, used to be one of my favorite shadows. And just to complete this, this is Juno Moon, this is Aphrodite, this is Circle, and this is Atrophy. If you were curious and the essence single does not have a name so yeah that is it for this one i i should crack it out i could crack it out but i'm more focused on other nabla eyeshadows as nabla is my panda palette this year so that was it those were all the palettes do i dare hold them up all at once mm. these are all the palettes that <laughs> I haven't yet used this year. Um, now we're not even halfway through the year, almost. So you know what? A lot can happen in the next six months. We shall see. Will I use all of them? I doubt it, but I could try. Um, I could do a no pan left behind project maybe. But then again, I feel like I'm already quite overwhelmed with all of the eyeshadow product products projects that I'm doing. So we shall see. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.